Hey everyone, so I'm back. I'm still getting over being sick. I'm still very congested. And um, I'm sure you probably um, hear it in my voice. I'm getting over laryngitis. But without further ado, my son's used up the memory card. I have maybe 25 minutes, so um, let me get started. You should have seen the paint wheel at the beginning of this video. I bought everything individually because I mostly buy from Gladys, um, um, Soca Latina, who has Forever Glam Cosmetics. Um, and so first my daughter bought this set that she was selling. And so it didn't make sense for me to buy the whole set. She sells all 20 paint um eye paints for like a discounted price and i can't remember the exact price um but cheaper than if you would buy them individually so uh since my daughter got this i'll be using the red and um the orange and um and then i bought from i also sometimes buy from jenny's makeup and i got these two which is the bright brown and uh, I think this is, called the, this is called the nude I can't remember the bright peach it might be called but if you go on uh, Forever Glam website you'll see all the colors great pictures I like her site I think the best because her pictures are so I mean you could really really see uh, the colors that you're getting so that's the paint wheel colors that you saw um, in the beginning in the paint wheel and these paint wheel colors inspired me um, and so you know with those four colors you can use as I've said before you can use them individually um, you can just do such such an array of um, different um, looks I mean so with four colors you can do a good 16 you know different looks at least so I'm gonna use the original um, eyeshadow primer that um, that also comes they have a light and a medium I'm using the medium today since I'm using warm colors they have for dark skin tone and it's it's the base this base I've always said I like the scandalous the scandalous is just the name that it got popular to obviously you buy this from a private label company and they put whatever your company's name is on them so um, so I'm just putting this and I'm trying not to go too heavy with it because it has a tendency to crease although I put my um, my primer potion underneath and I'm putting the bright orange in right here on the inner half of the eye see my voice is still not back completely <laughs> but because I was sick I didn't start homeschooling and um, so I figure what the heck might as well put in another video because like I said before, once I start homeschooling, I will not be doing videos on Wednesdays. So Wednesdays I usually don't have appointments or anything, and so I take it to do this. Now you put it in as much, put on as much as you want. Um, I just really, really want to capture the glitter, so I'm really laying it down thick. You can buff these out. If you maybe not use such a sticky base and you use, a, like, let's say, Urban Decay Primer Potion, which you already know I don't like because it dries out my eyes, but you can just buff this out and you won't have any glitter. So it is loaded, loaded, loaded with glitter. Um, so you could buff it out and, and um, you buff that glitter right off. But that's what I really, really like about the base, the Scandalous base. And, and there's a newer one 
that uh, Gladys sells that the base doesn't crease like Scandalous does. So I'm just here really putting on a thick, thick layer and I'm gonna blend it a little bit in the middle. of the red and the orange but that's because I really want that glitter to show okay and I, I doubt the cameras are gonna pick it up unless you have one of those really really good you know thousand dollar cameras okay then the next color I'm going to add is the bright brown I'm just loading it up on my favorite crease brush from Sonic Kashuk. Because it's a small crease brush and it really gets into those inner corners since my I have deep set eyes. So at first what I'm gonna do is swipe it back and forth just to get the shape that I want. And I can tell you right now, with the swiping, there's barely any glitter on there. Barely any glitter is going into this. Um, and then I am, um, now I'm going to tap my brush in there and um, dab it on my eye now that I got the shape to the way I want it. Okay. And then lastly, like I said, I think it's called Bright Peach, but I got this one from Janice and she um, renamed all the colors. <laughs> So I'm going to take like this eyebrow brush from Sonia Kashuk because again, I want the glitter to show. So instead of using like a, a highlighting blender brush, I'm just gonna dab this in there. Again, I wanna pick up that glitter. That's just me, Miss Glitter all the way. Okay. But yeah, so that's it. I've got the orange, the red, the brown, and the peach. And so this is paint wheel inspired called Fireplace. And I'm going to finish my makeup and I'll be right back. Hey everyone. So this is the finished look. Um, I put, tried to put <clears throat> the bright brown underneath my eye, but I used a liquid liner and it dried really fast. So, if you use a pencil, it'll you can put the brown on the bottom and it'll probably look even nicer. And I just use, it seem to be my go-to colors this fall, is my NYX Terracotta and my NYX Sand Blushes. <clears throat> and my NYX Pluto. This nice, deep, dark brown. But to soften it, I just put a gold um, gloss on top. That's my Mary Kay Gold Gloss. Yeah, my hair, as for my hair, um, <clears throat> my hair has been horrible the last few videos. It was over-processed with all the trying to lighten it this summer just by putting blonde in. I didn't even bleach it or anything. Um, and it was just so processed this summer. So, you know, it was just horrible in the last two videos. And then I was using a two-in-one shampoo conditioner. Uh, also, um, ugh. <laughs> so now I'm back to using a biolage um, or biolage or whatever it's called because that is really, really, really good for your hair. It's expensive, so I, I mix it up with the two-in-one. I'll do the two-in-one week with extra conditioning, Garnier conditioner, and, and then uh, I do the biolage. So I, I wash my hair at least twice a week, so I'm interchanging between those two. Um, so yeah, so it's, I, my hair is wet cause I washed it. Uh, and so it looks a little bit better than the last two videos. 
the last two videos was horrible my hair um, so yeah so I'm back to my webby but I notice if you're too close to the fluorescent lighting it the picture washes out when you take pictures so that's why my last pictures the color wasn't as vibrant as uh, as as it usually is because I was standing up too close to the flesh lining and it washed out the colors but yeah so yeah I'm still not feeling that well I have a little bit of, of a headache probably from the sinuses I'm very congested but um yeah but I I was able you know well enough to do this video um, <clears throat> um so yeah um, I wanted to say, I hope my, the camera lasts me, that um, I have Twilight and Entertainment Weekly. This was given out free at Blockbuster. Uh, Twilight Collector Cover is one of three. It is dirty. It was sitting in my daughter's closet, and it looks like it's got some, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know if it's chocolate or what it is, but it's dirty. It's you know, it's got some dust on it, probably cat hair, because my cat loves to sleep in her closet. But if anyone is interested, uh, Twilight Stephanie Myers, this book, this was, I purchased this for my daughter, and my daughter has a 12-year-old reading level, 6th grade reading level. This is a pre-teen, um, but it was too much for her. She took her a year to read this book. Then I told her, well, let me try to read it. And as you know, I'm hooked. Um, and then my son started reading it. And as he's a guy, he's like, nah. So he got through maybe five, maybe ten chapters of this. So this book has been read, used. You know, no way are these collector condition. But if anybody's interested... Uh, someone who maybe just you know can't afford to even buy the book who's interested in reading the book um, interested in in I don't know collecting this cover even though this is in terrible condition let me know I could probably send it out media mail you know so <laughs> all right um, love from you all see you Saturday I'm gonna I am gonna try and do browns and golds for the season so that's my series is going to be like browns and golds uh, through the fall until um, the holidays, <laughs> um, until Thanksgiving. And then I'll, I'm going to start, you know, I think I'm going to do a silver series. We'll see. All right. So love to you all and um, see you on Saturday. Mwah.